What's going on YouTube? It's your boy Cool with the Cool Kids YouTube channel. We are back for another video. Still out in Cleveland. And we are hitting up the biggest and baddest mall in Cleveland. Let's go. All right, the South Park Mall. This is where all the South Park characters used to go to, to go shopping. Not really, they're from Colorado. All right, let's go. Do got a Foot Locker. All right, let's go check it out. Let's go check out the selection, the deals. Do I have a House of Hoops? I got the Jordan 3s. That just released this morning. Do got the Jordan 3 Palominos. Material, not bad. Not bad. I thought it was like crack leather and stuff. It kind of is, but it's kind of done with like a suede. I'm so confused. I'm so confused. It does look nice. I did skip these. I am skipping these. Daniel. I love threes, but I just I just got too many. I just got too much stuff right now. Dang, dude. And I'm concentrating on outlet finds, outlet steals. Maybe if I found one at the outlet, maybe. Because, you know, these, some of these are going to get returned. Got one highs, mids, mids. They do have, they don't really have too many releases. Okay. And then do have all the 37s. We've been seeing those bad boys on sale, right? Then they got every one of the LeBron 20s. They got every one of them. Got these bad boys right here. Huge fan of those olive ones right there. This one with the extra long suede. Got these bad boys. And then do got the ones that's been on sale recently too. And then do got majority of the NXT, the next gen versions. Got plenty of those. The bread colorway. I think this was the first one, right? Then Zoom Generations, got those, got twos, got Kyrie's, kind of on sale, Kyrie Lowe's, right, these are the low fives, okay, normally above 20, slight sale on those, of course I'm looking for sales items, do you got Pro Standard Browns merch right here, this is fire, dude, this is fire, normally 100 down to 60, and then these are fire as well, this is a Jumpman Product. I think these normally go for 90 or 100, right? Yeah, 100 bucks down to 50 dollars. This is a large. This is fire. It's with the reimagines too. They do have the Browns hoodie in several sizes. Look at this. Look at this. This is a small though, but the Jordan flight hoodie. These are normally like 90, 100 dollars or something like that. 95. And it's down to 30 bucks. That is crazy. That is such a good sale. Dang, they got a medium too. Just what would I wear with this? That's the only question. What would I wear with this? Like, I don't really have anything that matches. Obviously, I wear it with jeans, but which Jordans would I wear with it? I don't know. I think I'm going to let these be. As a Lakers fan, I think this is even better. As a Lakers fan, I can wear this with Lakers merch and stuff. This is fire, dude. 95 down to 30. I've already bought so much stuff, though. <laughs> I've already bought so much stuff here. And they got this slightly darker colorway right here. These, these are fire. And if you get two of them, you could use a $10 off survey coupon, which is fire. Oh my God. I might have to come back. All right, so that's a medium. This is a medium. And so is this. I think this is the, uh, I was like, this is the least desirable colorway. This is the my favorite one. Hmm. We'll see. We'll see. I'm gonna, you know, I'm gonna let fate decide. I'm gonna leave them here. If I come back later and one or two of these are here, maybe I'll grab them. They got the pants in this color, but don't have the hoodies. This 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 colorway of the hoodie would be fire. I'd definitely grab those. Yeah, I'm gonna let fate decide. I'm gonna do that. Been seeing some of these at the New Balance outlets. I think this specific colorway, I think it was like 70 or 80, and then to get. Another thirty percent off, but yeah, this is definitely cheap. We haven't seen these too much cheaper at the outlets. That's an okay colorway. I don't know, like it just really depends on the colorway and the material for me. I just love that silhouette though. Do got the Chicago Dunk low splits. All right, nothing standing out too much. Let's go, let's go. We'll see if I come back for those hoodies, man. All right, they do got a lid. Pittsburgh, they got a thirty percent sale. Ohio, they do not. I don't know. I don't know. That's just weird. Maybe it's just that one location. Out. Right, let's go look around. Do you got a bunch of apparel, a bunch of fire stuff? Um, yeah, man. But do you got 
some oh they have some hats on clearance for five bucks they got some five dollar hats ohio state just pretty fire got these for 350 yeah i got two of these for 350 i think i got one of those for 350 bunch of brown stuff everything is priced as mark i believe nothing really standing out too much though yeah they had a 30 percent off sign at uh, pennsylvania but not here not here in Cleveland. Everything is priced as marked. Do you have a Pippin jersey? I don't know. Understand the baby blue thing? Really don't. You got these going for a hundred bucks. The Iversons. I don't think I've ever seen this one. This Nash jersey. This is a small. Go for sixty-eight dollars. Stefan Marbury jersey. Kind of interesting if this was on sale. Yeah, eighty-five, eighty-six. That's a little high. Do you got the two-tone. Mitch Richmond jersey with the killer crossover. Yeah, he's going for 85. They got a couple other sizes, but no extra 30% off here. I'm gonna have to go back to, to, to Pittsburgh and see if they got sales there. Got a couple of jerseys up top right there. Cleveland jerseys on sale. That's about it. Do got a finish line. Let's go. Just saw someone wearing the mischief boots outside. Was it the real ones? Or was it the bootleg ones like at uh, like that the ones that she kept? My bad. I showed them and I didn't know they were bootleg ones. What the hell? Do got the threes right here. Still got them. Guess they're gonna be available everywhere. Do got the university blue mids. Got the lows right there. Do got the seven chambres as well. Ones, man. These are just never gonna sell. <laughs> just throw them on sale. Three twelves apparently on sale everywhere. We bought classics going for. Kind of what they should be, 80 just seems a little too high for these, especially with the mediocre material. And yeah, they're going on sale. they all going on sale. Almost neglected the last chance section or whatever the hell it's called here because it's always called something different. Am I seeing anything crazy though? Anything fire? Buck 70 for these. 100 for the women's pair of 97s right there. Their forces going down in price, just way too many colorways. And that's pretty much about it, to be honest. Of course, they got plenty of Air Forces, as everybody does. Do got these? Like a chlorophyll colorway? And Dunk Lowe's. Seen those everywhere. I've never seen this one either. This one, slightly better material. This this leather is still mediocre, but a buck ten, and it's readily available, which is dope. All right, that's pretty much about it. Let's go check out some more shops. Let's go looking for deals right now. Came to the upstairs portion of the mall now. Do got a chance. Every time I see a chance, I'm like, come on, 70% off. 70% off something dope. Come on, come on, come on. All right, let's go see what's up. I was thinking, I was like, dang, they don't really have that many Nike outlets out here. So this is the stuff you got to settle for. Dang, I don't see no Mitchell and S. Oh, wait, wait, I'm talking, talking too soon, talking too soon, look. You see the 70% off sign right here. They even did the math for you guys. All kinds of Mitchell and S, what up? I saw a Cleveland jersey, I was like, what? Cleveland throwback, this is fire. And then I see a Golskis, I'm like, really? Nobody want a damn Golskis jersey, fools? Damn, dude. Wasted a perfectly good Cleveland jersey. <laughs> then we've seen the Chinese New Year jersey. These are just so expensive. Like, they look okay, they look okay, but 165, even at 70% even at off, man, that still comes out to like 40 bucks. By $40, I mean $50, like $49, dude. Just a little pricey. Like, to Ku Coach, this one's not bad. Especially with the pricing, $150, that's $45, so not too shabby. I'm just not, I don't know, I just like the old, old school look. Like, I like the older ones better. These bad boys go for $125, so what is that? What is that? $37.50, not too shabby. Not too shabby. These ain't bad either. Just a little too blingy for me. And of course, they still got one of these. One of these. This is worth every dollar. This is thirty-seven fifty worth every dollar. I did. I did. I grabbed a couple. I'm not gonna lie. I did grab a couple. And then what's this Chinese New Year jersey? It's a small. It is a small. And yeah, one sixty-five. Fifty bucks. I'm not paying fifty bucks for this. That's just too blingy, too much. But I was able to show you guys. A ton of, a ton of the uh, Mitchell and S gear. This is the 76ers shorts right here. This ain't bad if I was a 76ers fan. 
These ain't bad. This is a large or is this a large? These are $100, so $30 after the discount. That's totally worth it. $100, bucks, $30 after the discount. These don't look too bad. Wear this with a white shirt. Wear this with a 76ers shirt. That's just a classic look. And speaking of classic look, did go with an MJ jersey. Did go with a Magic Johnson. I know people don't call him MJ, but yeah. Magic Johnson jersey. And then just went with cargo pants. And then doing a ton of walking, so I did throw on some React sneakers. This matches with, with some of my Lakers stuff, which I did wear uh, yesterday and stuff like that. I did forget to show it on camera, but was wearing some Laker Mitchell and S shorts. I have some other Mitchell and S shorts uh, for tomorrow as well. So these do match with that. I didn't pack like five different shoes because um, I just don't have room. And then jackets and hoodies on sale. Like, look at this Timberland or Timberland. Timberland, uh, $68, you get 70% off. A champion hoodies to get 70% off, that's not bad. Timberland jackets, $178, 70% off. Grab these and you're good for the winter, bro. Like, damn, dude. I wouldn't, I don't know why people wouldn't buy all this stuff, stock up for the winter. They got Jordan sweats right here. These are probably what, $60, so 18 bucks? Come on now, just 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 buy it right now and just save up for the winter, bro. Damn, dude, that's what's up. And they got champion merch right here, going for 70% off. And then some of the CSG stuff right here. So these are $12. These are a little thin for me. I thought, yeah, I like I like the opening a little bit wider. Um, now nah, just I, I don't like really tight shorts. That's just not my thing. But hell of a price if that is your thing. I was like, why are all these sneakers so cheap? Oh, it's the kids section, that's why. Grade school, Hirachis, going for hella cheap. And the Air More of Tempos, too. Dang, dude, these are fire. What is going on here? What is going on here? What the hell? Oh my God, I paid way too much for mine, but th there's no way they got my size. There's no way they got my size. I got I got these, when the hell did I? I got these for what, 80, 80 something? I think it was like 80 something after shipping and all that stuff. 50 definitely cheap, but there's no way they got my size. There's no way. Oh, this is a size seven, so grade school only. Damn, 50 bucks, that's so cheap. 50 bucks, holy cow. Oh, men's sizes, regular price, not even on sale? A little bit, really? They don't even have many releases right now. Damn, this is kind of disappointing. Really though? <laughs> Air more of tempos, finally under 100. I'm gonna end up finding this one for cheap, watch. I'm gonna end up getting it for cheap. Buck 50 for these right here. Then we've been seeing a bunch of Air Maxes on sale. All right, nothing too crazy. All right, let's go. Let's go on to the next one. Food court is packed. This mall's pretty packed. Nothing close to the Florida mall though. We got Charlie's, Charlie's Steaks. I freaking love that spot. My favorite spot here. Then got other stuff right here. Got a movie theater right next to the food court. That's smart. They have an escape room, one of those escape room things. I so do not get those. I don't understand why you pay to imagine being kidnapped or something. I don't know. I don't understand that, dude. Do got a locker room by Lids. It kind of looks like it's a barn or something. <laughs> All right, let's go. Of course, plenty of brown stuff on sale. I got a bunch of Browns jerseys. No extra discounts though. I'm gonna have to hit up more stores in Pittsburgh, dude. They got the World Be Free. He's going for $65. These are pretty fire. LeBron jersey for 90. So that's only what $20 off. 56. 56 for Nike hoodie. This is normally 75, so what $19 off. Royals Mitchell and Ness. These have been like 50 bucks or something, right? These are normally a hundred dollars. 100 down to 70, okay. So they don't have the necklaces here, huh? They don't. Dang, I thought they had them at every locker room by Liz. Got some of the, what is it, the, the Negro League stuff. They got that stuff 30% off. We got some of the OGs right here. Bernie Kozar jersey. That's pretty fire, the OG stuff. I don't know who the hell that is. Metcalf, DJ Metcalf jersey, okay. All right, man, I'm gonna have to hit some more up in Pittsburgh because those are more fun with extra 30% off. All right, 
see if there's any other spots to hit up. So I did talk to the worker there and he told me that the semi-annual clearance sales are always two weeks every year, like on January and, and July. So maybe that's a regional thing. In LA, it's always been four weeks, always been four weeks. This year it was three weeks and it was one at 30% off and then two weeks at 50% off. So maybe it differs, I don't know. Let me know in the comment section. I've always been spoiled because we've always had that for a month and I've always gotten a ton of stuff. Like every six months I buy a ton of stuff. So uh, let me know in the comment section how it is in your guys' area. And make sure you guys don't uh, don't neglect those. Uh, like the next, what is it, the next January. We'll definitely be talking about that on the channel, of course. All right, let's get to some more shops. All right, man, that's pretty much about it. There is a New Balance store. And... Um, yeah, there's a New Balance store and I missed it. I could not find it. Um, I'm gonna go back to the the Foot Locker. I still haven't decided on whether I should grab that those hoodies or not. I don't know. Let's go. Let's go figure it out. All right, I just wasted 10 minutes thinking about it. I was trying to figure out what color. You know what? I'm gonna pass. I'm gonna pass. My truck. I'm gonna have to spend money on my truck. All right, you know what? I think we're wrapping it up. We're done. Parking can definitely be an issue if you don't like to walk. I'm all the way out here. Plenty, plenty of space out here. But it is a nice little walk though, man. So, you know, it is what it is. And the reason I do go to the biggest and baddest malls usually is because there's a lot of turnover, a lot more turnover in some of the slower stores, which means they're gonna have better prices because uh, if stuff doesn't move, they need to put it on sale. And they always usually get more releases. That's usually why I hit up the biggest amount of malls. That's why I hit up the Florida mall when I went to Orlando, and that's why I'm hitting this place up in Cleveland. All right, guys, not not too bad, but not the greatest. You know, it is what it is. Can't win during every visit. This is the biggest and baddest mall around this area, though, to my knowledge. I did ask around as well, and that, that's pretty much what I was told. But uh, but yeah, not too bad. Um, we're definitely lucky in LA to have so many malls and to. To, to, to have so much heat. I definitely don't see that at other places, uh, but that's kind of the way it works, man. Make sure you guys press that like button. Make sure you subscribe, do all that stuff if you're new. And then, yeah, make sure you guys click on one of these videos. I do have tons and tons and tons of videos coming out with one, two videos every day, trying to find content for you guys. And make sure you guys support the channel, you guys. Appreciate y'all. Peace.